So could, what are the uh, challenges that face us in sending humans to Mars? There are a lot of challenges that face us in sending humans to Mars, and I can't cover them all, but I will talk about a couple that are dear to my heart. First of all, life support systems. Regenerable life support systems will almost certainly be needed for long duration missions on the surface. And that is really required to maintain a safe and reliable systems such that we can't just simply jump back to Earth if there's a problem. So those systems have to be very reliable. Now these regenerable life support systems may include a combination of what we call physiochemical and biological life support systems. These physiochemical systems will use brute force or energy an industrial process to convert waste back into usable products. Whereas biological systems will use things such as plants or bacteria, microbes, to convert those wastes back into usable products. For example, plants. Plants can be used not only for food, but to convert carbon dioxide back into oxygen by a process known as photosynthesis. We can also produce potable water from wastewaters through a process called evapotranspiration, where we actually water the plants with this wastewater, and through this evapotranspiration through the leaves, we can capture that water that is relatively pure and can be used by human crew. We can also regenerate waste, uh, uh, organic waste, by uh, using those in plant substrates, for example. Another thing that we can do is live off the land. Living off the land is I think key for long duration missions because we're not going to have resupply capabilities uh, on a regular basis from Earth so we have to maintain uh, that crew by using things that are there. For example, we can use the soil for that to grow those plants in as I was just mentioning and talking about. Those uh, soils can not, will not only provide a substrate but will also provide nutrients for the plants. Water, we know there is water on Mars. We can extract that water in the form of ice or from the water that's incorporated into minerals and utilize that water in our life support systems or potentially even split that water so we can pr produce hydrogen and oxygen that can be used for, for propulsion systems. The carbon dioxide atmosphere on Mars, we can take that carbon dioxide, utilize that in our plant growth systems and then convert that CO2 into oxygen that can be used in our life support or, again, for potential rocket propulsion. Living off the land and biological life support systems, physiochemical life support systems, I think are absolutely key technologies that we need to develop to enable a long duration mission or even an outpost or a settlement on the surface of Mars.